Hello, welcome back by Hops Recording. Today we're gonna learn some stuff about primitive data types. First of all, we're gonna check the constants and the variables. What's the difference between between them? So, in Java, if you want to say, I want to add like two numbers, you can do like one plus two. <coughs> There's your constants. Uh, like you want to print something out. Let's see, like system dot out dot print line. We want to print um, one. Like one is a constant. You can't change it anymore because one is one, two is two, three is three. So what are variables? It's stuff you can change. If you want to say system dot out dot print line. You want to print out test because test is a variable. You can you can change whatever you want. If you say test is like is equals to three, like that, then you say test is three, not test is one anymore. It will change to three. So let's print it out again afterwards. So let's print test again. I'm not printing anything else. Okay. So if you run this you'll see it prints 1 from the constant to 1 and it will print 1 because test was 1 the first time then you change test to 3 and then it's 3 so you can see it's a variable you can change it whenever you want so what about the uh, data type it is like saying int that means an integer but there are like four kind of numbers which holds whole numbers. You got a byte, a short, a int, and a long. What's a byte? A byte is actually a 8-bit number. It's the range from 127 to minus 128. And what does a short mean? Yeah, it's a bigger number. You can store bigger numbers in it. And an, in an integer you can even store more bigger numbers in. A long number. Yeah, long number holds very big numbers, and you're probably asking why there's a L at the end. Well, if you delete the L, it thinks it's an integer, like you can see. It of type int is out of range because it's greater than this range. You have to convert it to a long. Just place the L behind it. So those four are holding um, wall numbers, and you can also hold floating point numbers. You got a double and a float. Float. A float is a 32-bit number, and you can you can use this if the numbers are in range from a byte and a short. So if they're between this, it's the best to use a floating number to store some stuff in. Um, also, there's a f behind it. Um, you say it's a float, but it will give an error because it thinks it's a double, so if you convert convert it to a float by putting an F behind it. Um, so why would you use a double? A double is a 64-bit number. It is in range of the int and long. So if it's a bigger number, then use a use yeah. Oh, sorry, my mic just got turned off for a second. Okay. So if it's a bigger number, use a double. Um, you got two other primitive data types. You got a char and a boolean. What's the char? Well, the char is a 60-bit Unicode. It's to store characters like a character, a char, character A. You can store uh, A in it. But you can also store a number in it. But you have always so, like you can see, there's a one. But it's not one. It's because it's a character. Does it mean it's an uh, integer? So the number one is it's not going to be one. It's very confusing right now. But you will s I will check this uh, in the some other tutorials. So we got. Um, a boolean left as a boolean a boolean is false or true is the condition true or false 
that's that's about it. So you can't even pick something else. It's like are you 21? No, it's false or it's true. You can say maybe or not. So, yeah. So if you want to print out this stuff, let's say we Oh, sorry. System dot out dot print line. So if you're going to print out some stuff, let's say we want to write print a byte. Previous time we placed something between these columns. So let's say byte is equal to and by typing the plus sign we're just adding a string together. Um, a string is just uh, some characters behind each other, so yeah, it's a string. And by adding the plus sign and then a variable name, like the number one, the variable name of byte, number one. So if you print, print this now, then you'll print out the byte. Let's, let's place this in comments. Um, if you want to print something else, you can do it like this. You you take the other function print, and uh, like saying, um, let's take the int or the float. Yeah, let's take the float. So we say the float is equal to, but not we're not gonna add it in there. So we're going to system.out.print line. We're gonna float, sorry, I misspelled that. Float. And we're gonna say the float is number five. Number five. What's basically gonna happen is it'll print this oh sorry, not between this so what's going to happen? This will actually print it behind this because it's no print line. So there will no, there won't be a return after that. So if you run that, you can see the byte. Byte was 50. That's correct. So we print the float. We don't go back to the next line. We print number five, which is that. See without the f because it's just to convert. What happens if you want? to give the number one higher than what's in range. You'll see it because it gives a error and change. You can change the type the number to an int. So it will automatically tries to convert it to an integer basically. Yeah, that's about it in this tutorial. Um I hope to see you next time. Bye.